All right, we're inside. This is, if you can see it all, the workshop area. I'll try to go slow just to see. It has a lot of space, but that's the back side of the house where I was showing you needed to be shored up. And again, you'll see the floor is a little dippy. Is she gonna need some work? Oh, it looks like there's an organ over there or a piano, but lots of workspace back in the day. All right, we're gonna walk to the right, which at one point had the outhouse in it. I don't know if I hopefully won't fall in. Let's go see. Back here, where I mentioned about that door, this was the outhouse. You can't see it with the video, there's no light, but that's funny. That was the outhouse for the house. All right, going back through, and this is an area, remember I mentioned that door that was off the hinges. There's that. Storage, apparently they had wood they used to keep in this area where there's an old dryer. And the outside door, just to give you bearings where I am in the house. And then this little entryway If you're looking for a project, this might be it. All right, now I'm in the kitchen. The walls with the plaster have cracked. You can see all the way through. The ceiling is gonna need to be also redone. Not sure where this door went. Let's see if I can open it. Nope, can't open it. <laughs> This little pantry over here is where it first starts falling for the outside. There's a beautiful old cabinet in this day. And this is where the sink is. And then this would have been the formal dining room. And at one point there was the fireplace here. Floor register. Yeah, you're right. Financing is going to be very tough for someone. It's going to be a cash situation. I'm going to try to get into this other area a moment. We came in this door just to give you a bearing. All right. Living room parlor. Wow. Back in the day, this house must have been quite something. It always is so heartbreaking to see them go into disrepair. And look at this beast. I believe it's wood burning. Floors also all need help. All right, mantle. Inlays off to the side must have been the formal living room at one point. Yeah, look at the this is a painted ceiling that's now in need of repair. But someone actually painted the design on the ceiling. I wonder what kind of chandelier used to hang here. What kind of fun this family had. Another beautiful fireplace. You can see it's very, very pretty. All windows would need to be replaced. I'm sure eventually. They're all great woodwork that would have to be redone. Doesn't seem to be any hardwood floors. Front door, it's tall. And this is back into that dining room area. You can see, let me go up the staircase. Come with me.
actually don't move because the water damage has caused issues all throughout the house. To the right of the staircase is the bathroom. At some point it was updated. Ceiling has tape, sheetrock. And then beside that is a bedroom. At one point this too had a fireplace. This one had the marble mantle. Here too you will see the need for repair because of the roof. The closet has some ductwork for the furnace through it. A whole bunch of other issues. If we go around to the right, let's start with this room. Again, this still is not too too bad compared to the others. One simple light. Closet with a meat coat. And it does have some of the original paper. I think it's still here in this house. Such a shame to see disrepair. Hallway to another bedroom. Wide pine boards. Imagine them refinished. Two beautiful. Windows looking out back in the day. Now they both need to be replaced. And the trim boards along the top, they could be wooden. I've always thought they were metal, but closet. <laughs> Hard to open up things you don't know what you're gonna find. Alright. Back around this bedroom that we were in already. So there's another staircase down to the kitchen. We'll go back that way in a moment. This room, wow, so sad. Your wall issue here behind that chair. And let's go to the right and see what we can find. Somehow they put another bathroom in here, but it's been a lot of leaking, a lot of issues around the top. I made you dizzy yet. Don't know how much light there is, but let's see if we can go upstairs. Oh, I'm just gonna at least put the camera up here so you can see. This is the attic. Well, I'm not sure you can see anything, but she's full of stuff. Okay. Let's go to the basement so I can get there. I'm thinking it's uh, go back the way we came. All right, down the main staircase. Look how wide it is. So easily move things up and down. And the railing's relatively solid. Okay, off to find the basement which is always my least favorite part. <sighs> well, oh, there's yeah. power. All right. You can see we have wires.
Uh, not sure there's been anyone downstairs for a while. I'm just gonna take a video across. I'm not walking out there. This is silty, a lot of dirt. You're not gonna be able to see much here. Um, there's an old cistern, looks like here. They did for water. And there is still some water in the basement. I'm uh, gonna say there you are for the basement pictures. All right, I'll take you back out to the front door and we'll go over to the... This was the porch. This was an added on feature and they put in the windows back probably what 70s back in the day okay oh warmer outside than it is in the house it's a beautiful birch tree let's see if I can peek into the barn for you before I conclude the video Not sure there's any light there. At least try to get a little something for you. And it's also, okay, the floor is in need of repair. Has a lot of stuff. Look, it's got an old sleigh in it, wow. And the front door over there is where that there's some issues with the sills. And there's a back stairwell up there. So, all right, sir. Let's conclude this video. And if you have more questions, let me know. It uh, is a house that's going to need some love for sure. Talk to you soon.